Hey guys, Uni here, come back to guys a brand new YouTube video, and today I'm gonna be giving you guys my personal top five free video editors. So kicking this off, we're gonna be using HitFilm. So HitFilm I rate it at 8.5 out of 10. And uh, fair warning, the download that they do send you through email after sharing their product, because you're gonna have to share it off with Facebook, um, Twitter, or etc. There's there's just a couple choices, but there's gonna you're gonna have to share it, and then once you get a download, it's only gonna be working for 64-bit, as far as I can tell, because it never worked for me since I recently got downgraded from from 64-bit uh, down to 32-bit. Uh, so some computers cannot use it, but I rate this as an advanced, but I also, as a side note, I rate this also as an intermediate because the GUI makes it very simple and easy to learn throughout time if you're willing to work with it. It's also very diverse and could be used to actually make some low-level movies. So the next free video editor that we have here is actually Windows Movie Maker. And the, there's uh, some people actually mix up Windows Movie Maker with Windows Live Movie Maker. And Windows Live Movie Maker actually costs money, while Windows Movie Maker, the one that I used when I first started up on YouTube, and right now I'm as far as I am right now, I've gone through like two different editors, no, three different editors. But basically, it's I rate it a 6 out of 10. I think it's more meant for intermediate editors, so if you have a little bit of experience with editing, this might be good for you. And it just gets the job done overall. So the next video editor that we have here is actually Lightworks. So Lightworks, this is a very, very difficult video editor to work with. So that's why I rated it at 8 out of 10 instead of putting it above HitFilm because I personally believe that since it's so complex and it's more meant for the very, very advanced, very, very advanced video editors, I believe that I just should downgrade it because I don't think a lot of you guys will be needing as much as it produces for you guys. Because I even found myself having a very difficult time with Lightworks. But overall, it's a very great thing if you learn how to use it. I think you can make very high level content to compete with really high level YouTubers. So uh, yeah, that's Lightworks for you guys. 8 out of 10 and it's only made for advanced users. Just keep that in mind. I can't even use it yet. And I'm very advanced with my edits most of the time. So the next video editor we actually have is YouTubers built-in edit YouTubers. <laughs> wow. YouTube's built-in editor. Now keep in mind this one's only meant for like uh, last minute edits, but it can be used by uh, like let's say because a lot of you guys are actually gameplay YouTubers, and I'm sorry for the more advanced YouTubers in this that are trying to watch this. This one may not really apply to you, but if you're just trying to get in some music, whatever you recorded, and then your own like your your voice, your, your commentary this will get the job done for you completely it will do everything you need to do and that's it it will not have any kind of dissolving tricks or any kind of changes and slides or whatever it's not going to be advanced like that but it will get the job done for you as a starter youtuber so the final video editor which is the one i use has two different sides so it has a paid for side and a non paid for side and before you click off this video while you're looking at this one I'm actually going to show you guys how to get the paid for side for free. So uh, first things first, the, the the more basic version is actually a 4 to 10 in my opinion because it's just so lackluster and I think it's actually worse than the YouTubers editor, the YouTubers, sorry I did it again, the YouTube, the YouTube video editor because it's just so basic but I feel like it's only meant for like really, really limited edits to be honest. I don't even think it's really meant for YouTube but the paid for side is very great now it's very advanced but it's very doable because this is the one I currently use at first I use movie maker then I use Sony Vegas 13 Pro or whatever the hell and then I am now I'm using this because I kinda lost that other version but besides the point besides that um, I rated a 9 out of 10 and it's advanced in my opinion but could also be labeled as intermediate and if you guys wanna get this for free you're gonna have to go down to the description go to this website to uh, get these register codes and when you're registering these codes you have to do it while you're off your Wi-Fi and any time that you really do even use the video editor or you uh, open it up before you even open up you have to turn off your Wi-Fi otherwise it will it will basically um, it will cut off your code your code will no longer work it's gonna figure out that it's actually a fake so then you're gonna have to go back to the site and get a new one but if you run out of the five codes that are there then it's no longer gonna work and that's all guys so uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you guys do, if you guys do, if you guys did find this video helpful and a lot better than my last one, just leave a like. It really would help me to know. And if you did not like the video and you thought I could have even done even better, just leave a dislike to let me know. You know, either one works, and that's all, guys. So hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And this has been. See you in the live. Signing off because all enjoyed the video.
And game on, my dudes. Can't believe I actually just said that. <laughs> Forget what I just said, guys. Game on.